Today I want to talk about uh, static electricity and the charge conservation uh, in relation to the free energy devices. Uh, to talk about the basic uh, static electricity, uh, the, the principle is like this. Uh, when there is a material, one, and there is a material, two, and when they are together and then depending on the electron affinity one material gets takes the electron from the other one and the other one will lose the electron so the charge becomes like this and what is interesting is if you take them apart, then material 1 stays plus and material 2 stays minus. And then you know, these will do discharge with other material with which I will come back. And this is what we are quite confused with the charge accumulation. Normally, charge accumulation means the the capacitor there is a capacitor battery and this one accumulates the charge and there is always the opposite polarity so the the number of the charge is is a uh, total zero if you if you see in uh, macroscopically this one once you tear apart then the total the charge number is is not conserved it's not zero but normal charge accumulation means the charge uh, total charge number is zero because plus and minus are accumulating then based on this i'm gonna start talking about uh, uh the, the let's let's talk about first the uh, lc circuit L and then I'm gonna write the capacitor like that and then let's say there is some uh, some uh, resistance and then there is some transformer so this one uh, makes the energy magnetically so the the electron moves up and down. Electron moves up and down, which means uh, when the electron is moving upwards, then it's accumulated like that. And uh, electron is moved upwards, so there is a empty space, which is a hole. Hole is accumulated like that, which makes the plus charge. And uh, if it is DC, no current flows, and then it's blocked like that. But AC, uh, the electron moves downwards, which means the electron is uh, uh, recombining with the hole. And then this disappears. Not only that, if it continues like that, then here makes the hole. And here, electron is... Uh, is accumulating so electron accumulated here hole accumulated here and then vice versa like this way the it looks like a current is flowing up and down uh, left and right yeah this is the normal electricity then i'm gonna make something interesting situation which uh don smith it talks about this quite strongly um there is a transformer and then there is a second secondary coil this one let's say this one is connected like that so let's say this is the point one and then there is a capacitor and then the capacitor this side is point two and this side is point three 
and this side is connected to the earth ground point four and let's say point one and point four are isolated then there is no capacitive uh, connection at all, then what happens? Uh, let's say when the electron moves downwards, which means here makes the plus, 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 which means it's the, the holes where the electron has moved downwards, and here will accumulate the electron. And because of this strong uh, uh, the electric field made by the hole, the electrons are accumulate. Uh, electrons are attracted, which is called uh, static induct uh, static electricity induction or something like that, uh, and then. Because the electrons are accumulated here, the, the earth will lose electron and then here will be holes, empty spaces, which is the normal case. In this case, there is no free energy. And because, uh, I don't mean they are, uh, uh, they are uh, connected, it's, although it's isolated, there is no free energy and then when it reverses the polarity and then it's, uh, the electrons will come here and then uh, because it's uh, recombined and it loses the, the induction force therefore um, this one the, the, the electrons will come back to where the holes were and then recombine nothing and then Again, if it happens like that, then electrons, uh, the, the holes will be made and the electrons will be here and the holes will be made. There is nothing, nothing magic. But if we have the ambient, ambient charge, then the situation becomes interesting. Ambient charge means it's not neutral there is some electrons in there. Then what will happen is like that. Uh, uh, let me write again, okay. So primary, secondary, but it's still isolated. And then there is a capacitor, or if this can be just the air between one a, a transmitter or and receiver. I just uh, make it as a symbol of capacitor. And then the earth is connected. However, this earth already has some charge in there. Now the game is interesting. The uh, When there is a little bit of plus made, it's to attract this charge is much easier than tear the the electron from from the neutral ground and then make the charge separation. This charge is mobile, so this charge can, would like to move to wherever uh, there is a little bit of electric field. So a little bit of electric field is there, then it finds the way here and then it's minus. However, although it's minus, it's not plus here because there is still the excess of electrons there. So minus and minus. So the, it's something like the situation here. So the, the charges not Com charges are not combined and then like the real static electricity which we experience normally so one side of charge is just a minus here and then it's moving moving here and then once it's moved here there is no reason to move backwards because there uh, although it's it loses the 
the electric field here. This doesn't have to go backwards because there is no the the holes waiting for the electrons. So this this is the real excess charge, and then this excess charge is the static electricity, uh, as we define from the life experience. This static electricity will do something interesting job. Sometimes it's uh, it's working something like a magic in the water, or or something like a circuit. It, as we experience while we are replicating the free energy device, we uh, we get a lot of static electricity shock, which is this: the excess of electron, or it could be it could be the positive ion. Uh, could be the proton, I don't know, but that this kind of excess electricity will will be accumulated and it would not come back. So when this kind, of, when we get lots of static electric shock, which means we have a hope of making free electricity. If it doesn't happen that much, then we may have to find out another ground. Which has a excess of electrons or uh, positive charges. Of course, the electrons are much easier than the positive charges, so electrons will be will be much more handy to attract and then uh, utilize like this way. So, so this is this is what uh, Don Smith is uh, talking about uh, ambient energy. So it's not ambient energy energy but ambient charge and then because the charge is attracted with small energy and then that can be utilized with a bigger energy so i guess that's the secret of over unity